Good morning, I'm David. And I'm Jack. Today we're going to focus on, surprise, surprise, the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. The CDC has officially recommended that gatherings and events of 50 people or more should officially shut down until early May. Boy, what a flashback seeing uh, David and Jack a year ago today saying, yeah. we don't know what's going on, and then soon after, a big announcement was made. It's crazy to think about. Yep, the coronavirus uh, first hit home a year ago, and it was the last time that everybody was in school yeah. and maskless. Which is, uh, you know, really, it is crazy, because we, you know, I remember just standing there, like standing right next to people, no mask, not even thinking about it, and now that seems so abnormal to me. It is, it's really strange. And um, before we get uh, too much into it, let's uh, head over to news and see what Soph has for us. H. Douglas Barkley passed away last weekend at 88 years old. He was a lawyer, a local politician, and known to be the patriarch of the New York State Republican Party. Throughout 50 years of his political career, he was a powerful chairman of the Republican Conference in the Senate, along with the Committee on the Judiciary and Select Task Force on Court Resignation. Will Barkley, his son, claims that his father died around his family. Will always looked up to his father and said, they'll remember him as a leader, fighter, and advocate. Multiple countries have stopped providing the AstraZeneca vaccine due to reports of blood clots. There are multiple vaccines available for COVID-19. However, this one, which is used all over the world, has been recalled by a few European countries, such as Sweden and Berlin. The makers of the vaccine still claim that it is safe. There have been 37 reports of blood clots out of the 17 million people who have been vaccinated in Western European countries. I'm so Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we will have a high of 39 and a low of 30 degrees. Today we will also mainly have clouds throughout the day and some wet snow in the late afternoon to evening. Mainly near, mainly near south and west of Syracuse. Later tonight, we will only have a little snow showers with no expected accumulation, as you can see here. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and it's also St. Patrick's Day, and we'll have a high of 48 and a low of 33 degrees. Wednesday, we'll have more clouds with some rain and snow showers highly possible in the morning. And I'm Grayson with your weather. It is really hard to think that a year, like a full year, has gone by. And I know when we first left school, there was no way that I thought it would like stretch out for this long, yet here we are. In, in fact, John, when, we, when you got the announcement, we were actually together yeah. filming this clip. Let's take a look yeah. at what your thoughts were a year ago. Um, well, directly, I will be taking time off of school because school will be closed. And then I'm also a athlete, so my spring sport, which is track, um, is getting postponed to later on. Um, so that's, yeah. I'm staying healthy, trying to limit a lot of contact with other people, washing my hands every chance I get, hand sanitizing. So John, now that you've had a, a year to look back, what, what has been the hardest thing being a student going through this? I mean, probably, and what I never thought was gonna happen was having the virtual days. And I mean, it's different now because we're starting to come back a little bit, but I never thought that I'd be in only two days a week or, you know. Even those months where you didn't, we didn't come at all. Right, I thought we would, everything would be okay and we would just come back to normal and like everything would be fixed and it'd be all good. Yeah, because one of the things that, as a teacher, I kind of live off my students. They give me the energy to keep going. Right. And when you're just staring at 12 dots for a, a class it's just it's it's not the same and I hope no. when we get back to this this normal that people can get back to normal because you know they talk about mental health as being an issue and just mm -hmm. socializing some people haven't socialized with anybody in over a year yeah that's I know a couple of my friends have been on complete lockdown where they have barely left their house this entire year and I can't imagine what impact that has had on them NFL free agency has begun, and a few teams have come sweeping through, signing many players. The Patriots have signed many players, such as tight end Jonu Smith, 
edge rusher Matthew Judon, wide receivers Nelson and wide receivers Nelson Aguilar and Kendrick Bourne. Other teams that are leading in the number of signings are the Jets, the Jaguars, and the Texans. The New, York, the New York Knicks lost a close game against the Brooklyn Nets, 112 to 117. That ended in a bit of controversy after star player for the Knicks, Julius Randle, was called for a travel even though it shouldn't have been called. He had, he had to be held back from his teammates out of anger by the bad call. Other than that, he had a great game with 30, 33 points, 12 rebounds, and six assists. And I'm Luke with your sports. And with the release of the vaccine more and more, it looks like we're gonna be back to school this year, probably four days a week, and hopefully next year, all five days. Well, we're still just exploring the possibility here at ESM. Other districts in the area have made moves to do so. Yep, uh, JD, I think it's April 19th that are going back. Uh, high school and middle school, four days a week, and then elementary, everybody, five days a week. Yeah. They're just making that commitment to move forward. I know sports are back, which sports are back. is a little bit of a, a new normal for us, you know, getting yeah. back in that routine, it is definitely which is nice. pretty nice. So. Um, it's been the longest, shortest year of my life. <laughs> and like, yeah. It's gone by like that, but it, yeah. yet it seemed to have dragged as well. Yeah, I definitely yeah. I feel that. So for John and myself, we want to wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> which last year we did virtually. So it's true. have a good day. Have a good one. All right, so I don't know where the rest of you people are, but here I am alone at BSM High School. And uh, I figured I'd just give you your daily uh, news news broadcast. 